last tip of the day, let's take a look at importing a tool library. To do that, head up to the upper left hand corner, select NC, and then edit tool list. Now from the tool changer dialog box, you want to come down to the lower left hand corner and select manage library. Now it's important to note that when you import a tool library, by default, one CNC is going to merge that brand new imported tool library into the existing tool library. Now many times you don't want to do that. You simply want to import a brand new tool library and use it exactly as it is. So to do that, we first need to create a new blank tool library. Here's how you do this. Select the option called new library and then give it a name. I'm going to call this precision. That looks good. We'll click OK to that. Now you'll notice that the background has blanked out and now we have a blank tool library called precision. Now it's time to import the tool library. Now there's two types of library. There's legacy and XML. Legacy is the older format tool libraries and I believe that was from XR6 and before. The new format you want to use is the XML library format. So let's select this. Now in my example, I'm going to be importing a tool library from 1CNC XR8. So I'm going to open up that folder, open up the mill expert folder, open up the settings folder, then I'm going to open up the libraries folder and then default. And from here, I'm going to select the CNC precision .xml tool library. So I'm going to double click that. And as soon as I do that, we instantly have an import library dialog box. We don't have to worry about this, but let me explain how this works. If we had a tool library and we were importing another library, in other words, we're merging them together, if there's any duplicates, the first option is keep current. That means if there's any duplicates, keep the current tool definition within the current library. If you say select imported, that means if there's duplicates, duplicate tools, keep the imported tool definition. And then if you select keep both, that's going to keep both the original tool definition and the brand new tool definition. Again, we don't have to worry about duplicates because we're importing our new tool library into a blank library. We don't need to worry about import history or materials. We can simply click OK. And there we go. We have a brand new library that's been imported and it's called precision.xml. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.